Hey everyone, welcome. We're doing a some basic service on a 2005 GMC Jimmy here today with the 4.3 liter Vortec engine. As you can see, we're doing an oil change on it. I'm going to check some of the basics on it as well. Get ready for the fall time coming up. Customer likes the Motomaster Canadian Tire Oil, full synthetic. It's got the dipstick too gritty out. We've got the oil drained on the vehicle. We've got the filter changed already. I'll show you a quick thing on that. We're just going to do some basic checks. Coolant, power steering, brake fluid. This engine is very dusty as you can see. It's got just a lot of dirt road driving obviously. So I've already opened up the air box here. One of the things, the four screws, one, two, three, four. You can take off this one here if you want. I already loosened it off. Checking the air filters. What I do is I hold them up to the lights. The ones that you can see through. Right now I can see through the ones that I have up there. This one's fairly clean. It says he's changed it a few months ago. So look to make sure that there's nothing torn. The pleats are in good condition. There's not a lot of... A little bit of dust, but nothing really. Just take a look through it. It's in good shape. As long as it's not torn, it's good. Offers a good seal. Put it back together. Take a look down inside the airbox as well. Any water, any debris, any who knows where this guy goes, what he does with this thing. So we'll put that back together right away. Have yourself a rag handy as well. Check the dipstick on it. We've added a little bit of oil into it already. Looks like we need to add another liter or so. Serpentine belt, take a look at that, look at the condition of it. Is it cracked? Is it split? How long has it been on the vehicle? Mileage on the vehicle? Once every, who knows, 50, 100,000 kilometers. Change it up. Coolant in these ones, uh, very important to change. It's got the Dex cool in it with a 4.3 liter Vortec engine. You want to make sure that no more than five years, 100K, change it out. It's cheap insurance. Um, you've got aluminum components in here. You definitely don't want them to corrode inside. Water pumps, intake gap, or intake manifold is aluminum on this here as well too. So make sure everything's good. You can see the brake master cylinder is very dirty. All I'm gonna do is wipe it. I'm not gonna remove the cap. Um, at this time, but just to check the level in it. Don't want to get any dirt and dust inside. Take a look at the level if you can, somehow through it. Give it a shake, and I can see it. It's right here. There's a maximum and minimum line on the back side. Take a look at that. Block heater cord for the winter time. This guy's had the ABS module replaced at one time with an after or a wrecking yard one. New batteries got installed as well. Power steering fluid. Wipe it up. The cap. Pop it off. I like to give it a wipe first. Take a look at where my levels are. You can see that it's got the add line. A couple of holes in here. Full mark as well. Pop it back in. Back out. And this thing is, it's full. It's actually maybe a little over full. We may have topped it up at one time. Maybe it had a little leak or something. I didn't see under, anything underneath when I was draining the oil. I don't see anything there. He's got a bit of a front differential seal leak. He's going to get that taken care of. I won't do that here. That's. I don't have time for that at, at this point in my day. So. Uh, serpentine belt, grab yourself a nice little handy light, 150 watt light, take a good look down below, belt is fine, we got a little bit of a intake manifold leak here, you can see it, a little bit of oil, just some sweating, nothing leaking, just sweating, just doing a good visual inspection, take a look at the upper and lower rad hose, 
nothing leaking up the rad. See nothing down below. Have yourself a good working light. We'll be careful because these things get hot. You can see, you can see the fluid in there now. You can see through it. Mass airflow sensor is it's clean. It's clean. These are the little lights that are handy to. Just gonna grab something here. Some people run, I believe in the synthetic fluids. Uh, they flow so much better when it's cold outside. Winnipeg gets very cold. We're talking like, uh, you know, minus 25, minus 30 degrees Celsius. That oil will flow at those low temperatures, even with the vehicle plugged in or not plugged in. Plus they, the superior hot temperature protection on them. Pay a little bit more, get a little bit better of oil. Uh, I run them in uh, his vehicle, of course he wants them in there, that's what he does. I run them in my cars, my two vehicles that are here, both of them full synthetic fluids. Pay a little bit more, get a better oil. Pop this up. I've already added a couple of liters to this thing. Somebody walking by, checking out, see what I'm doing. Now since he's just had the battery replaced about, well since the last time he's had an oil change here anyway, in the last few months, the connections are good, they're not corroded for the winter time. Let's get the white. Twisting it to see where my level's at because that oil is clean. I'm gonna check it one more time here. Hard to read sometimes on the dipstick. Plus my eyesight is not as good as it was when I was a young kid. Maximum is here, minimum. You can see the cross hatches that they've got in here. We are at the max, but I did not fill the oil filter because of the way the oil filter is mounted in this vehicle. It's down in front. There's our remote oil lines to it. Oil flowing lines. So we're going to put this back on. Got a little top off. Put that in my container. Make sure that's good and tight. Make sure that that's good and tight. It's going to go back to the customer because he's got a few liters left in here for sure. We're going to pop this back on. Hopefully that goes on easy. It was a pain in the butt to get it off because it's location. Rad hose, fuse box relay in the way. Not a lot of room. Just kind of wiggle it around. Thank <laughs> you. 
Check them all. Give them an extra quarter turn. This one I do this kind of stuff. I'll check the guy's lights. Make sure everything's working. Brake lights, signals, high beams, low beams, wiper blades. His windshield washer fluid is empty, not a good thing. Some basic engine information here. Don't start the vehicle. While the cord is here, the fan will rotate on this thing. This thing needs a good wash, but it does lots of road driving, lots of gravel road driving, I should say. So we're gonna drop this down. This will be fine. This needs to go. And we'll start her up in a second. We'll do a quick, quick look. Quick look on this, uh, this one here. Power steering, brake fluid, engine oil, engine oil fill, dipstick, coolant. It's about half full right now, so it's good. And we're almost out of, almost out of memory here. Just start her up. are working. A couple other things to check on this as well. Uh, look at